is the most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> Best albums of 2019. 25 albums I have today with you guys to discuss. And let's just jump into it right away because we did have a good year for music not the best one for me the best year of music is 2016 that's when all the amazing artists dropped amazing music but um here 2019 was quite good quite great year actually as well so album 25 we have so much fun deluxe version by young thug now i already discussed about this album on honorable mentions i'm just gonna say the fact that it's now on this list too <laughs> is because i actually filmed that video like two three weeks ago and my opinion on so much fun has changed after the deluxe version dropped because they added four more songs and plus i had time to revisit the the other songs the older songs on that and i just realized how much fun actually i had listening to this project and i had more fun listening to it now and i'm still listening to it i i i'll always come back to this project and i felt like i'm doing a cri criminal activity <laughs> when not including this album so i included it i'm sorry <laughs> you know so 24 we have uh, seven by lil nas x uh now it's a technical album but it is for some reason getting nominated for the album of the year on um grammys so why the freak not include this project in our list as well. So 7 by Lil Nas X, because I, I liked pretty much all the songs that are on there. I was listening to it a lot. I just had fun, you know, and she had, she had a lot of uh, cool uh, rock uh, type of songs as well. So there were um, variations, not, not only Old Town Road seven times in a row, you know what I'm saying? So uh, it worked for me. 23 we have because i love you by lizzo great vibrant uh production big uh, and like there were happy songs there were songs that you can cry to as well and like you know or feel, feel sad or angry even but like usually it was just having time like having a great time of your life with uh, songs like juice songs like truth hurts uh it's just it was incredible i really loved it album 22 we have booba by k trinada a uh, great uh, sort of edm mm, not edm sorry dance electronic album uh r&b soul into it as well um it's just really nice really pleasant to the ears project you just put it on it just goes on and on with no stops every song is good there's no bad song in there I'm j i just love the project i i put it on since then since the, since it dropped it dropped like December 14th really recently, but I didn't stop listening to it since then uh, in, in 2020 I will be listening to it as well 21 case study 01 by Daniel Caesar no introduction needed Daniel Caesar is king of R&B pretty much at this point uh, He has been dropping a lot of great songs and if you don't know who Daniel Caesar is by this point definitely please Please you're doing yourself a disservice check out his stuff He's amazing. All right. All right 20, number album 20, we have Carte Blanche by DJ Snake, one of my favorite DJs out there and he didn't disappoint with his new release as well. Not as good as Encore, but still great project. Album 19, we have Grey Area by Lil Sims, she's incredible, she can rap really well and uh, the tracks are powerful. She has this great album uh, that's gonna last for years in the UK scene in the rap scene that she definitely made a statement uh, album 18 we have uh, ignorant ignorance is bliss by skepta also from uk scene skepta i i've been listening to this addictive songs for a long time so i couldn't not include even though i, I don't like all of the songs there are songs that i skip but the ones i, I love yeah I, I i fuck with it heavy album 17 uh, assume form by james blake also from england actually yeah a lot of uk representation this year in my list um or maybe i just didn't think about uh, the nationalities the origins before uh, this is the first time what i actually including the artist nationality maybe that's why i was noticing that how much actually artists i listen from england but yeah like james blake but uk like generally had a great year in music too like uh, people were saying that so james blake assume form uh, uh, such such a bliss to listen to these songs they are incredible 
There are cool features like Travis Scott, Rosalia, um, Metro Boomin is on there as well. But um, James Blake shines within his own bubble, within his own style. It's just, uh, it's just something else. This is out of this world. I can't, ex I cannot explain uh, what it is exactly. It's just, you have to give it a listen. It's just a really cool project. Album 16, number 16, we have Neo Theater by AJR. It just stick with me, and so I decided to add uh, this album into this list despite the fact that you know some people are some reviewers are putting this album as the worst album uh list but um no i i love it so why the freak not uh album 15 we have tim by avicii by the way i just didn't say it yes these are my opinions though you know what i'm saying this if you didn't like the album it's fine i'm not saying like this is not a fact i'm not saying like definitely this is the best albums um but this is what i like this is my list pretty much i'm just sharing my my taste right here uh, album 15 we have team by avici i didn't include this album just because avici passed away it's just i actually like this album a lot and this might be the best album avici ever did honestly uh and that's why it's even more sad that he passed away there were you know there was potential to be an even bigger uh, for Avicii as an artist uh, to be even better uh, although he already was uh, on an amazing level uh, album 14 all my heroes are cornballs by jpeg mafia jpeg mafia um i've heard of the dude all the time before but i didn't give him a chance before this is the first time with this album i give him a chance and uh, he surprised me and i really love it. it's just uh, this certain style it, this hip-hop is really experimental this is not what you get on the radio or whatever like that it's just completely um out of the box music it's just so weird and yet so addictive i, I really like the album um and jpeg mafia <laughs> flourishes he can sing in a weird very weird way like he can be like pharrell williams or he can rap like danny brown you know what i'm saying like he has he has versatility so i definitely enjoy the project album 13 everyday life by coldplay coldplay is one of my favorite bands of all time honestly coldplay is amazing their style their music is just when when you show when you watch shows like france it's about humanity it's about people uh, like the the emotions the feelings the relationships and coldplay is friends of music <laughs> pretty much if i said it correctly coldplay has a feeling of unity and humanity and relationships and uh, like all the human uh, sufferings and emotions are in Coldplay's music and and the way they arrange their instrumentals are amazing and I've loved them that's why all like since the beginning but um, this album is gladly better than the last three projects they dropped um, the last great project and my favorite project they dropped was Viva La Vida and Death or His Friends this Viva La Vida, <laughs> pretty much, but that's my favorite project. This this album is better than those three that came after uh, 2008's release. So, yeah, that's why it deserves to be here, in my opinion. Album 12, Nothing Great, about Britain by Slow Tie. Slow Tie, I discovered about the dude first time uh, this year as well. He was on Brockhampton's project. He was on uh, Flume's project, and that's why I started to recognize this guy. And uh, his unique delivery, like he, his voice is really different. And, like the way of rapping is different. And as as you can understand, I love rap. And Slow Tie is just a really cool cat in in the in the hip hop scene, in the UK scene as well. And um, nothing great about Britain is a political statement not only lyrics are really important but also the sound is fantastic is amazing amazingly executed there are some dope beats and it's just a lot happening sonically and i just really love it album 11 would have fine line by harry styles i just recently reviewed it uh check it out if you haven't watched the video but but harry styles proved us again that he is an amazing artist and he is here to stay uh, and he is the best One Direction representative. And now, before we go to our magnificent top 10, 
I just want to tell you guys that there are other, there are also albums that I listened to in 2019, but I they didn't get honorable mentions. But I wanted to create a list. Uh, I didn't have time to make a separate video, but this is a list of top albums of 2019 that didn't drop on 2019 so uh just like with the video i had recently not released this year and was listening to them and enjoyed them so here they are album 10 oh now we are at top 10 uh we have when we all fall asleep where do we go by billy eilish even though i didn't really listen to it that much i couldn't um not include this project in top 10 because the, is this a revolutionary project because where pop is headed right now um is kind of undetermined it's kind of like we don't know like where it is exactly right now like the pop is always changing right but if i i feel like it was more creative it was more better before uh but like actual like pop radio hits you know what i'm saying but billy Eilish sort of bringing us hope that pop can be brilliant still in our days and so Billie Eilish uh, this is a really important record in my opinion and I and I do enjoy it that's why I I want to give Billie Eilish the spot she deserves and that spot is in top 10. Uh, album 9 we have Help a Stranger by The Raconteers this is uh, like sort of garage rock a really amazing um, vibe I'm getting from this album is just like I jump around, I scream, I sing along, and it's just really fun listen, fun record to listen to. And uh, if and it's not heavy, it's not heavy rock at all. So if you guys like alternative or if you guys like guitars or drums, just give it a listen. It's pretty much like Imagine Dragons, but if Imagine Dragons were good, you know what I'm saying? So definitely give it a listen. Album 8, Ventura by Anderson Pack. Now, this project is just vanilla in the sky. This project is so beautiful that I can just swim in the ocean or swim, swim in the bathtub with full of soap and just like have luxurious life with these songs it's just have fun it's just so pleasant album seven we have jesus is king by kanye west of course not kanye West's best project but kanye is kanye for me kanye my favorite artist right here um so i just could not include him because i do like this album when my favorite artists that dropped the album it's uh, not it, it's not guaranteeing them the top 10 spot because we saw what happened with Eminem and the revival you know what I'm saying and that not that didn't get like spot in best albums for me because I didn't like the record but here I did like the record I enjoyed the freak out of it I played it a lot and my iTunes Apple music actually replay um statistics can show you that <laughs> you know what I'm saying it is in top 10 when it comes to listen to listenability because i did listen to it a lot and um we have album six you know what i'm saying by danny brown i reacted to this on, on camera if you didn't know actually yes i even react to artists like danny brown so kudos to me <laughs> but danny brown I, I i'm just i'm really glad that i know about this artist because danny brown is fantastic he's psychedelic way of rapping uh, is was always uh, surprising me was um, always amazing uh, was always amazing to me but this album is actually the most accessible when it comes to bigger audience because Danny Brown uh, his way of rapping uh, wasn't for everybody you know this psychedelic uh, hardcore album like uh, atrocity exhibition not many people can vibe with it but the ones who do enjoy the freak out of it but this one is just pure rap and if you if you like hip-hop you should give it a listen because this is the album where a great rapper just spitting his great bars on fantastic instrumentals that's all it is that's all it is. and the similar album to you know what i'm saying is bandana uh album five we have freddie gibbs and Madlib. Madlib being a fantastic producer, he was producing for all kinds of legends in the hip-hop game. Uh, Madlib uh, has been in the scene for more than 20 years now 
and he just provided amazing, incredible, addictive beats to Freddie Gibbs, and Freddie Gibbs just did what he can do. I'd rap every single person <laughs> that's what he did <laughs> and like yes it's just a fucking amazing record sometimes i do i say a freak to not uh, get demonetized but in <laughs> anyway say the f word is all over the place this video is all over the place but um i like the bandana i really enjoyed bandana and i actually enjoyed uh their last album together more uh, which is piñata piñata was not dropped in 2019 so i had to put bandana instead of piñata but i discovered both of these albums this year but uh, since bandana dropped this year i'm including bandana but bandana fantastic album four uh the sailor by rich brian rich brian i never give a guy a chance i always thought that uh, this is just like a, a second echelon rapper like not interesting blah 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 but once i actually um listened to this project, my perspective has changed. This dude, bro, this album is an art. This is not a, actually just rap album. There's much more happening uh, to this uh, project. Like uh, with Igor, Tyler, the creator. You cannot label Igor or the Sailor rap albums, at least purely, because with uh, the Sailor, Rich Brian is just doing so much more and he's singing. Uh, but actually, okay. Okay, he, it's not really like Eager because uh, Rich Brian raps much more than Tyler on Eager. But still, but still, what, the point is the beautiful instrumentals, the beautiful arrangements with the music, what's happening there, the gr grand as life um, music within on this album is just really shocked me and there are tracks like the slow down turbo or something like that it's just the beat switches like four times and like this one song is like even like better than sicko mode in transitions that's how that's how much the it transitions like it's just insane uh i just really loved it and there were catchy songs like vacant uh kids i just love love the project rich brian Thank you so much for this amazing album. And then we have top three, which is Thank You Next by Ariana Grande. At one point I thought this project is better than Igor because I listened to it much more than, t uh, well, actually no. I listened to them pretty equally amounts of uh, plays, but um, it, there were points where I was just listening, I was into Ariana's project more, but now uh, looking back, you know, still, when you think of Igor, it's just, project like <laughs> like it, it's just one of a kind project ariana's project is also amazing and i really enjoy the project but um i think i think it's not in the same level as igor of like when it comes to creativity but thank you next is my pretty much pop album of the year uh when it comes to like big artists like who are uh, a-list celebrities yes thank you next is my album of the year because thank you next it was just so damn catchy and her vocals are amazing of course it's ariana grande and the versatility she showed and like uh, imagine uh, break up with your girlfriend i'm bored and like I, all the songs are just incredible the seven rings of course for me um yeah fake smile bad idea nasa <laughs> bloodline <laughs> okay well i can go on go on and on but um Album two, we have Igor by Tyler, the creator. I already mentioned that project. I already talked <laughs> about it a lot. So we just go ahead to number one, which is Ginger by Brockhampton. Brockhampton, I love Brockhampton, one of my favorite artists. Brockhampton, I started listening to them back in 2017 when they uh, became popular actually with uh, the Saturation album and then Saturation 2 dropped, Saturation 3 dropped and all three of them are amazing, incredible albums. They freaking saved 2017 because 2017 was not the best year for music but Brockhampton, the fact that they started to be this popular in 2017 is just, uh, th that was the highlight of the year for me when it comes to music. And, Oh boy, three projects in one year, three great projects in one year. Not just 
projects, like not just meh projects, like Gucci Mane, for example, but actually like fantastic projects in one year. But then, uh, you know, there were some uh, things happening with the band. And anyway, uh, you know what happened with Brockhampton, but uh, what I want to say is just Ginger, my album of the year, because uh, the songs are fire, are just too fire. <laughs> and the, the album is beautifully executed flows very well as well they are sad on this album and there are songs that can legit just you know uh, be in my feelings and listen to them like no halo or uh, victor roberts or big boy and they are so catchy as well uh, the, uh, there are fun songs like boy bye and and sugar sugar is not that fun but sugar is buttery crispy fantastic uh better than sex song <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's sugar it's just uh, incredible songs i i cannot praise this album enough but i just this is my album of the year ginger by brockhampton and i can i, I mean it's labeled as hip-hop rap but honestly it can be labeled as pop as well so there you go though my top three ginger igor and thank you next thank you so much for watching this video i hope you liked it and enjoyed it uh, hit the like button if you liked it, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys on the best songs of the year video. And that will wrap, that will conclude our 2019. Thank you so much. Goodbye.